Alright, good classes to use when you're like playing like uh, bot lobbies and noobs and you want to get like really high stats is um, Ordnance Escalation. This makes you streak really really fast with the Ordnance and the Escalation you never have to reload like every double kill like it reloads your gun automatically. Along with the Commando it's really OP. Like, I mostly run Commando. Man is like one of the most OP divisions in the game. Actually with the the health regen and the the multi kills and the granting headshots gives you extra score. And the double kills like give you ammo. And one of the other thing is most broken about commando is you get two divisions. But if they're like throwing a lot of nades, I recommend doing a hunker escalation. Hunker saves you from explosives. But if they're like throwing a ton of stuns at you, they're like C4 spamming you with like Exhibitionary. The best thing to run is um, Hunker Instincts. Hunker helps you with explosives, and then Instincts helps you with like uh, stuns and other tacticals. And it's nice too, like, uh, screen gets like yellow when somebody's looking at you. This is like the biggest like anti-C4 class in the game. Most people use this. Another one they use is uh, Armored Ordnance. This one's good, but it's like, it's not as good. It's pretty good, like, uh, for, like, uh, C4. Like, if someone throws something at you and you're, like, you have, like, 100% health, like, yeah, they throw a C4 at you, uh, you won't die. Like, uh, if they throw a C4 at you and you got a hunker on and you, it's close enough, you're going to die, like, every time. But if it's, like, the C4 is, like, really far away, it'll get a hit marker on you. But this one, like, sucks because of the health regen about Commando. That's why a lot of people don't run it. And you run out of ammo a lot. It's nice too with the FMJ. Like it's built in an armored. And another thing. Like uh, I run FMJ on all my escalation classes. Because I rely on an escalation like uh like the the quick draw effect of it. So that's why I run FMJ. It's pretty nice. It's not as good as like regular quick draw, but it's pretty good. And if I don't have Escalation on, I'll run Steady Aim. Extended Mags and Rapid Fire is like a given. Like you run that on all your guns. The third attachment really doesn't matter. Uh, you can run a, like Quick Draw, Steady Aim, FMJ, Advanced Rifling, or a Suppressor. The Suppressor is also really good because you get a 75 score for uh, every kill an extra. Like gun kill, obviously. Uh, the stupidest thing to run is like grip on Irma. It's a waste of attachment. Irma's got like no recoil whatsoever. Or this sight, or this sight. Irma's sight is like nice. You don't need a red dot. This is the class I use when I, I play sweats that don't throw a lot of stuns. And, uh,. Orange's Hunker is pretty good for ball turrets as well. It's like the best class for ball turrets. Is like when you get your ball turret, you can sit in your corner and you don't have to worry about too many like explosives killing you. And plus, you don't really need escalation when you play sweats, because uh, if you uh have good aim with the Irma or like any gun you're using, you don't have to reload till you kill like five or like seven guys if your aim's good. And I run machine pistols on all my classes, except for uh, one that's my shotgun class. All right, so I'm gonna get in uh, C4. All right, I only got two C4 classes. This one in my shotgun class. You want to run an exhibitionary with C4 because it paints them on the map with the stuns and the, the explosives, 
and you replenish over your enemies' uh, dead bodies. And he could throw them, like, a lot farther. Of these. And you need to run Saboteur with it because uh, that made him in midair, as a Saboteur does. There's some people that run, like, armored with it. It's not as good, because, like, you don't, like, throw them as, like, far, and you don't replenish uh, with them. You play against, like, a good C4 player, they're going to use Exhibitionary. They have an advantage of the armor, because they're going to have way more packs to throw. And they can throw them, like, a lot farther. And they can throw them in midair. And some people run, like, uh, Commando with it, too. Uh, yeah, it's not as good. You don't replenish exhibitionary. The plus side of running a uh, armored with a uh, saboteur with two C4s is uh, you got uh, protection from explosives, but you're gonna be a lot slower than someone that's throwing them with exhibitionary, and you're not. You're only gonna get two. And they don't like refill ever. If you don't have an Irma, you don't have to use an Irma, but I use an Irma because it's the best gun in the game. That's why I use an Irma. It's the most OP. I I would use a uh, PBSH. It's really the second best uh, submachine gun. It's effective. I use uh, extended mags, rapid fire, and grip. I, if I'm playing bots, though, I'll, uh, I'll take off rapid fire and uh, put on a uh, quick draw instead. Because uh, you don't really need a uh, rapid fire when you uh, you're playing against bots, and it's pretty nice. Like uh, without rapid fire, the PPSH has like no recoil. And I run Semtex on all my classes except for my uh, exhibitionary classes, because uh, single C4s like on like commando or anything that's not exhibitionary is just like really slow. Because you gotta wait until like they touch the ground for the C4s to detonate. Some techs are just like more effective. You can throw them like uh, a lot farther, and you can throw them faster. And they're better than like frag nades because you gotta like cook your frag nades. Like a good player, if they see a frag nade and they got like hunker on, they can just like chuck it and throw it back. Or they don't even need hunker if you're not even you don't even uh like cook it long enough. They can just throw it back to you. Some techs they like stick to the ground. And they're good for like cavalry shield players. Yeah, my specialist class. I use commando. The uh, FMJ rapid fire cinematics. Escalation, my first perk. Second perk, hunker, and third perk, scoped. First two most important perks are uh, escalation. Uh, you get reload on the double kills and hunker. You know, get blown up by nades, and you could you can switch the third perk around. Third perk doesn't matter too much, to be honest. I, I like scoped. Very nice for aiming. Instincts is pretty good too. It's all preference. Or you can use look at her or forage. Alright. Uh, mountain class, I sometimes use this for like requisitional bolters. They can't see you. Some, like cavalry classes. This is the one I use for cavalry. I don't really use them too much. Cavalry ordnance. Irma, like uh, the douchebag class, you see a lot of like fucking like annoying cavalry shield players use. They use saboteur. Well, two C fours and the uh, the combat shotgun. It's like probably the most annoying class in the game. Uh, this is my lose head glitching class. This is the best one for uh, head glitching and sweats. If they're like throwing like a, a lot of C4s, you might have to switch to instincts, but uh, yeah, other than like put instincts and in hunker on, it is really good. Those head glitchers use this one in 6v6s. Or if I'm playing bots and I'm like, I feel like, hey, glitching, escalation hunker is really good on LMGs. And this is pretty good. This is what people use for spawn trapping. 
is really OP because you never have to reload. But uh, like, there's a, a lot of good elements using the game you can use. Like the lad's pretty good. This one's the best one if you're like spawn dropping. Like it's really strong damage. Love him, Jay. And this one has the best mobility on the game. The the VMG is pretty good too. And this MG81 is pretty good. Not a lot of people use it, but it's pretty good. All right, my AR class. I use the Volk. Best sight is the Goat 2. Best variant. Doing so much nicer than the other ones. Uh, like, look at the difference. Ah, uh, I think it's in way. Not that bad though. But yeah, this one's a goat too. And I use rapid fire, extended mags, and steady aim. And I I use mostly uh, there's three ARs I use. If I I don't have any DLC guns, I'll use the STG, and I'll use the same attachments. But uh, the two uh, DLC like ARs I like the most are it's the Volk and uh, the KG. They're the two most OP ARs in the game. And this is my one where I just like I'm I'm pissed off and bots are annoying. Pull out a shotgun. It's pretty toxic the bad two class. There's long barrel, rapid fire, and steady aim. You don't need extended mags. It's not that big of a difference. Uh, there's seven bullets without extended mags, and then there's uh ten bullets. Like, there's only three, so yeah. And I use a sap with it. This is the only class I don't use a machine pistol because you need something that's gonna like kill him far away. And my M27. There's rapid fire. And a mags and a FMJ. This gun's really good, but it doesn't have a lot of ammo. You gotta be really accurate with it. Uh, Blister Wake is pretty good too. Gun has no recoil. F2 is pretty good. FMJ, same attachments. And uh, my MP40 class. My mess around like bot classes, I, I usually just use a hunkering escalation on them. And I got a. Uh, yeah, same attachments. Steady aim. Standard mags and rapid fire. Good. Uh, this Ruby Rose is pretty good, it's pretty strong. Uh, my Tommy Gun class is a little bit different. Hustle Escalation. Because this gun is a, a pain, like, if we, you gotta reload, it takes forever. Okay. My Sten class. I got the Root 2. Root 2 is the best one, the other ones look pretty bad. I don't know why. Sight's like pretty clean. The big difference from the other ones, I'll show you the other one. Yeah, see this thing on top? Uh, annoying. You choose the best one, like I said. Uh, here's my Austin class. Yeah, I use a red dot on it because I don't like the iron sight. But, really, the, their attachments is preference. You put on, like, anything you want, like FMJ, steady aim, quick draw, advanced rifling. You don't really need grip on Nawson. There's, like, very few guns that you actually need grip on this game. And my uh, two Beckowitz classes, Ordnance, Escalation. They're mostly just for bot lobbies. FMJ, extended mags, rapid fire, usual. These guns are really fun to use. Uh, my streaks, I mostly run, are UV, artillery, and troops. This is the best streaks for, like, you're playing pubs and you're trying to get high SPMs. You want to get, like, a lot of kills. Uh, the best one is, like, artillery, troops, and ball turret. 
or some people like uh, firebomb instead of uh, artillery. All right, the second best one to get the most kills is artillery, firebomb, and tree. This is pretty good if you're not good with ball terrors, you'll get a ton of kills. I think I dropped like two sticky sticks with these kills, streaks. And then another um, good one, like if you're playing like a requisition bot lobby, is artillery, flax, and troops. That's pretty good. Or you can run UAV, flax, and troops. That's all pretty good. If you're in like a sweaty lobby and you want to use flax, like uh, fighter pod, artillery, flax. All right, for like sweats, I use fighter pod, artillery. Uh, troops, it's like a full on, like a six man or a four man. I usually take troops off and I'll put on like a firebomb instead because uh, sweats, like they tend to just like shoot your paratroopers down. It's not that good when you get sweats. Firebomb is a big game changer. Or you could uh, use like UAV instead. You get your streaks like really fast doing this. Or mortars, mortars are pretty good too. People use glide bombs. No, I don't really like using glide bombs. You gotta control them. 